Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching me, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, there have been a bitter exchange on Twitter between the, the Sunnah East Member of Parliament, Junet Mohammed, and the Senior Council, Ahmed Nasri Abdullahi. There is something Junet tweeted, <laughs> and this is exactly what he wrote on his Twitter handle. Senior Council title getting wasted on blogging for UDA. He went on to say, if that is what you call a badge of honor, then you can keep it. <laughs> now, Ahmed Nasser also responded to Jeanette Mohammed, and this is what he's saying. Very proud to speak for an ethnic minority group, in bracket Somalis. Your party, in bracket ODM, and its leadership, Honorable Raila, Honorable Jeanette, in bracket. Luther, Luther, stock, detest, and the work against its interest. I wear it as a badge of honor. So that is uh, Ahmed Nasri responding to Junet Mohammed on the same tweet. Now we all understand that Grand Mullah is a key supporter of the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto such that he can go to an extent of using propaganda to taint the name of ODM leader Raila Molodinga in favor of the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. But I want to use this opportunity to explain to you why Grand Mullah candidate might not have much influence in the Somali community in 2022. But before we go deep into that, a quick reminder. You might be watching me, but you have not yet subscribed. My humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you come out with a video like this, you will always get notified. Again, to all our returning subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, let us give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, there are so many respond to Grand Muller tweet, but I choose two of this tweet, which are very interesting. There's one guy who responded in this way. Why much depressed, sir? Must you earn a living in this way? That's a question. This is how another person responded to Grand Muller. Your master opposed 2010 constitution because of Kathy courts. Are you aware of that? That's a person who is also a Somali responding to Grand Mullah. Now, there are several reasons why William Ruto might not win the Somali vote. Just look on the second, second comment that I read here. It is clear that the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto opposed the 2010 constitution and with the support of the church. Ruto was not for the Muslim community getting Catholic courts. That is one of the reasons why he was telling Christians to oppose the 2010 constitution. I'm certain that when the real campaign will start, those people who are competing with William Samuel Ruto are going to remind the Somali community of which I know, like all of them are Muslim. The larger community of Somali is Muslim community. They will be reminded about how William Samuel Ruto opposed to them getting this cut court. And remember, these guys were really crying for them to have their own courts. But 20, 2020 constitution answered their question. And when Raila Molodinga was in the forefront campaigning for 2010 constitution. So in that time, I'm believing that this Somali community are going to reward Raila Molodinga because at least he fought for them. And through that constitution, they had their own courts as we are speaking now. When you see Adam Dwelle now is, is talking about those courts, there was a day he was saying that the chief justice, Mother Kome, should not dare take a woman judge into those courts. But what Dwelle is forgetting is that his master, William Samuel Ruto, was even against these guys getting those caught. So this is one of the reasons why William Samuel Ruto <laughs> is not going to get bothered. People are going to protest against him because of that. And number two, if you check on the history of Somali community, they are always voting with the government. Maybe they want their interests to be taken care of. That's how they are. And so... Seemingly, as things look like, Raila Molodinga might be the favorite candidate for the government. 
Raila Odinga is the deep state candidate, as things stand by. So for that reason, Somali community are going to vote with the government. And the government candidate is not William Samai Root. Raila Amol Odinga is the person to watch. So for that reason, I'm certain that Grand Mullah candidate might not get the much vote that he think he might get from the Somali community. Despite the fact that Grand Mullah would want William Samoy Ruto to win the Somali votes. And the examples are very many. Remember Aden Duale is supporting William Samoy Ruto. There was a by-election that was supposed to go on when Senator Nurdin Haji died. The son was given a chance to serve. Remember what Dwala did? Despite being with William Samuel Ruto, he went ahead to endorse the candidature that the community was fronting to take over from the father. So you can see, already the community was siding with the government side. And for that reason, it was easy for the son of Nuruddin to take over power as simple as that. So this community has as history and that history is going to remain as we go to 2022 general election now the campaign will be going on seriously next year so junet mohammed who is a somali like ahmed nasri will be on ground campaigning for raila mono dinga and as i said he will be reminding these people how raila mono dinga took care of their interest through the new constitution I don't know what Abdul Nasser will be telling the people on the ground why they should not vote for Raila Molodinga, but at least Junet Mohammed has a reason to convince his community to vote for Raila Molodinga. Look where Junet Mohammed is. A Somali staying in Luo Nyanza region. But despite all of those things, at least the Luo community has embraced the Somali by voting in one of their own out of their region. You see, so for that reason, do not Muhammad will have a reason to convince his people to vote for Raila Molodinga. There's no end Somali in Rift Valley, be it even an MC only, not even a nominated one, who is in leadership position. And remember, we have some of these guys in Nakuru. So I don't see where Ruto has even <laughs> given them a chance even in a nominated position. So for that reason, at least Luo community has shown that they can embrace other communities. So for that reason, it is going to be very easy for Somali community to realign themselves with one Raila Amolo Odinga. So Ruto Atapata Red Card Hub. Then number three, the Somali community as we know them, they are always practicing guided democracy. The community will decide who will be where. Which leader will be in which position? They will discuss. After that, they are going to guide the community. The youth, the women will be told who to vote for. So for that reason, the same way we saw the community guiding their own people on how they are going to elect their senator, who died, replacement, is the same way we will see this community guiding the women, the youth, and the other people on how they are going to vote for the presidential candidate. And that person might be the government candidate, Raila Amolo Odinga. So for that reason, you see, there's no chance for William Samoy Ruto in Somali community. <laughs> so definitely Raila Amolo Odinga might get more vote in Somali compared to what William Samoy Ruto can get there. So Abdul, has, Abdul Nasser wishes might not come to a reality. People are saying even he's not on the ground. He don't know what the community is going through. He has not been reaching out to the communities, yet he has a presidential candidate that he wants to guide his people to vote for. So for that reason, because he has remained in the city, so the people in the village there might not listen to Abdul Hari Nasir. Number three, there are so many Somali community staying in Islam. <laughs> These people understand very well that if they want to get into leadership positions, the only way to go 
is to embrace Raila Amol Odinga. At least Raila has people in Nairobi who can vote for one of their own. William Samoy Ruto has no enough people in Nairobi. You can count colleges in Nairobi. You can count them. It's easy to count. So for that reason, the popular, popul population of colleges in, in, in Nairobi cannot help this Somali community get into power. The only way this guy's interest might be taken care of, politically speaking, is when they side themselves with Raila Molodinga. So for that reason, most of Somali community will find it easy to embrace a candidate of Raila Molodinga rather than going with William Samoy Ruto. So, even in Nairobi itself, I see these people realigning themselves with Raila Molodinga. Because Ruto has no challenge to convince Nairobi to vote for their one of their own. So, in that way, I don't see how Abdullah Nasser is going to convince Somali community to vote for William Samoy Ruto. But I see uh, Junet Mohammed having an easy time to talk to his own people to support the candidature of Raila Amolo Odinga. So in that way, I see Raila Amolo Odinga winning big compared to what William Samoy Ruto can get in Somali community. Now, that is my take on that tweet. I don't know what you think, but what I understand is that I have very wise people on this platform. So the remaining thing is you to get into comment section and give me your views. You don't need necessarily to agree with me. You can disagree with me, but constructive. In that way, we will be making this conversation more mature and helpful to more people outside there. So let us get to the comment section. And I thank, I, 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 I am also so much happy how people are commenting there. People got an excellent event of replying to the other people's comments. So that conversation looks so much nice and very interesting. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.